Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee's One Key M18 Fuel Half Inch Drill Driver. Now this unit, like their other drill drivers, comes in a hammer model, which is model number 2706-20. It also comes in a non-hammer model, which is 2705-20. We have the kit in front of us, which is model number 2706 dash 22. It comes with a M18 and M12 charger, two XC 5.0 red lithium batteries, uh, an extra handle that can be mounted on the top, and the drill. This is an awesome drill that Milwaukee came out with. It's absolutely a game changer in how things are used on this even if you don't use the one key item. So quickly let's go through some specs that are shared by both models. First off, on low, just like any other drill, you have high and low on the top. It's 0 to 550 RPMs. On high, it's 0 to 2,000 RPMs. These drills have a peak torque of 1,200 inch-pounds, similar to the older models. Uh, they have a half-inch metal chuck, similar to the older models. And if you have the hammer drill, it is 0 to 32,000 BPM. So, the big difference to me, if you're not using the one key system, is the electronic clutch that is located on the, uh, the new one key model. It's a lot different than the actual friction clutches on the other one because if you're in the drill mode or if you're in the hammer drill mode, this electronic clutch doesn't matter. Wherever it's set, it doesn't matter, including the Bluetooth mode. It can be anywhere you want it to be, doesn't make a difference. It only works and the settings only work while it's in the drill or the screw mode. So if you're fastening something, you can adjust this up just like any other model or any other um, drill. Just the higher the number, the more torque it's going to apply. There's actually a, a guideline to go by for inch pounds in the owner's manual. So you can set this up to screw in any fastener that you want, set it up to turn it off where it needs to be. Awesome setup because you don't have to think about it. You can flip back and forth between drilling, hammer drilling, and screwing, and you don't have to worry about where your clutch settings is sitting at. Now, it gets a lot different once you get into the one key platform. The one key platform is easy to use. First, go to your either Google Play or your Apple Store, wherever you need to, to download it. It's going to install on your phone, and then it's going to ask you for a bunch of permissions. When you look at those permissions, you're going to probably go, wait a minute, why does it need uh, access to my camera? It's just a drill. Why might it need access to phone calls? Think about this in a bigger picture. You're installing this app one time, and there's going to be a lot of different tools that are going to be one key, so it's asking permission for everything it's going to need completely down the road for a lot of different tools. This is just the beginning. So once you click OK, install, get through everything, it's uh, easy setup. You can actually pair with these things. Super, super simple. Just make sure in the Bluetooth mode and on the bottom of this, you, all of your settings that you put in through the one key are used through the one through four on the bottom or the Bluetooth connect mode so you can actually upload items to this. We went through and played with it just to figure out what's going on, what can we set up. I mean, the, the options in there seem endless, but once you're in it for a little bit, you can figure out what's what. You can turn the light on and off at different seconds. You, uh, you can keep the light on. You can set how fast the, the motor ramps up the drill. You can set uh, a, you know, a kickback device on or off. You can set torque amounts. You can set speed. And then there's actual helpful settings where uh, if you're going to go through and we did a three quarter inch hole saw into wood. We went in their settings, used it, adjusted a few things up like we wanted to try just to see how it went. Use that to go through wood. Everything was perfect. We moved up, adjusted the settings again, said we're going to go through a one inch bimetal hole saw it through, uh, was it cold roll steel? and then went through, drilled that out. It worked great. The settings are right there. You can set up what you want to do, the speeds that you want to go through. And what really helped us out, we had a large 41 64th drill um, that we had to go through on this Ford behind me when we put in some new brakes. We had to drill some stuff out. That was amazing. We could set up our speeds. We could set up everything we wanted to. We could set up our anti-kickback. We could set up how fast the drill ramped up. 
It really worked awesome in a situation where you're drilling a larger hole, you wanted a little bit more control, you wanted to set up the speed exactly for that drill bit. Then we started looking at, well this could be used in fastening with um, self-tapping screws. So we went in, they actually have a setting for that. We set everything up, adjusted our torque a couple times just to kind of get a hang of where everything went. Actually drove through and set some metal tappers so that they would be perfect in the wood underneath it. So you can actually adjust this for the hardness of the wood that you have underneath your metal. Perfect for going into barns or anything. You could put a barn together, use this, and have it stop before you even start to indent the metal. We did it over and over and over. Very, very consistent, very easy to use. That's the one thing about this that the one key system first got me going and said, how hard is this going to be to use? It's just a drill. What am I actually going to gain from it? And am I going to spend a lot more time using the one key system to set up the drill? Not the case. You can go in there. This is a normal drill unless you have it on the Bluetooth mode or the wireless mode. And then once you set your one through fours, you can have them set up to be anything that you do on a normal basis, one, two, three, and four, and just go. You wouldn't have to go back into the Bluetooth mode or, or the one key to change anything unless you wanted to. But the nice part about this is that you can actually find your tool to a point, know that it's near you if you're uh, in the program. You can also use this to just set up maintenance times. You can find out when you purchased it. You can look at warranty information. It can be used as a way to inventory your tools. There's so much to this platform that you can do and use. It's awesome and again, absolute game changer. Now the one thing that this tool does have that's a little bit different to aid in the wireless and the Bluetooth area, underneath here there is a battery. That battery can go dead. Two screws come out, very easy to change that small battery if ever needed. Very cool setup. Milwaukee is going to have some cool tools coming out with this. We can't wait for the impact wrench. That for us is going to be awesome. If we have four modes on the bottom, we're installing a lift, we're going through a car, we can set up one, two, three, four for the different torque settings of the different bolts that we're putting in. It will speed up things immensely and I just, I, we can't wait for that. So if you're in the market for a new drill, check these guys out, go online, look at them at Milwaukee's tool site. I mean, it's just a game changer. It's cool. You don't need a smartphone to take advantage of the electric clutch on here. You will need some sort of device with Bluetooth to take advantage of the one key. It should work with iPads, tablets, phones, just about anything like that, including uh, going over wirelessly to your computer. Stop over at Workshop Addict. We have a blog and a forum over there. Also, give us a like and subscribe to this channel. We have a lot of social media out there, so look us up. We're going to be doing some great giveaways here coming up in the future. Thanks for the time, guys. Have a great day.